Does this look familiar? Because it should. Perhaps you'd like me to tell you what's on it. What's it going to cost me? Time's running out. Oh, I'll give it to you for free. That phone contains information about a Russian arms dealer named Amir Kafarov. He was on pretty good terms with your old buddy, Al Bashir. Did you know Beating that- a dead horse. I'm sorry, I didn't realize I was done speaking. Did you know that Kafarov and Al Bashir were working together? All I know is we were redeployed based on the info we got from this phone. And where was that? Northern Iran. Kafarov was believed to be there with the missing nukes. Believed to be? No one but you heard Al Bashir's confession. No one knows where he got this phone. Listen to me. We have to stop Solomon. You took the phone call, you know he's here. That's all well and good, Sergeant, but we still need you to fill in the blanks. This next part is where you have a big credibility problem. Fine. Kafarov had a villa in the Gilad Valley. We were headed there, but it got complicated. Okay, Kafarov's compound's on the other side of this valley, just past the Gilad Bridge. So who is this guy exactly? The guy from Al Bashir's phone, an arms dealer. That's all they know? That's all we know. He could be connected to those nukes. All misfit call signs, advanced to 1-6, westing on route red. Break. They've made contact with a squad-sized force. Over. Roger that. Can you confirm the size? 1-3, I have no further information. Out. Past the Gilad Bridge. So who is this guy exactly? The guy from Al Bashir's phone, an arms dealer. That's all they know? That's all we know. He could be connected to those nukes. All misfit call signs advanced to 1-6, westing on route red. Break. They've made contact with a squad-sized force. Over. Roger that. Can you confirm the size? 1-3, I have no further information. Out. Hey, Makovich, wake up! It's enough sleep, Dream Warrior. Uh. 34 minutes. I was asleep for 34 minutes. Drinking a vanilla milkshake. Does that mean something? Oh shit! Awful slap! Get in the trees! People down, taking fire from the left! Enemy! God damn it! 
Russian Paris. Real Russians, what does that mean? Maybe they're working for Kafarov. Look, either way, Steve, I am concerned that we are slightly overmatched here. We got a job to do. Those nukes? It's misfit. Let's go talk about it. Mm -hmm. Russian transport! Holy fucking shit! Oh, we can't go through them. No way, no how. Enemy units down there setting up. Airdrop rules out a straight route. So what the hell's going on here? They're here for the same reason we are, Sergeant. Are we at war with Russia now? Is that what's happening? Were you fired upon? Yes. The doctrine says you can return fire if fired upon. That's not war. Not technically. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. I'm saying we need to get there first. You think the Russians are here just because? They're covering their asses. We know they're working with the PLR. Now let's move it out. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're just gonna finish one war by starting another. That is our fucking standing. Montez, you heard the orders. Let's go! We can't go through them. No way, no how. Fall in and prepare to move. Targets, coax, troops. We have to get to the other side of the valley ASAP. We have solid intel on Russian infantry moving in a northerly direction. They're tipping their hand to Kavrov's location. He's who we want. He's who we came for. We're bounding across to the next checkpoint. Understood? Counterattack! Contact! Three line to our front. Troops in the open. 200. Rapid rate. Okay. Enemy behind cover! Front! Two guys down! Hey! Enemy 
Column movement, eyes open. Roger. On me. Let's go. Mark the gun! Move right! Move right! Spread out on the right flank! Cover and fire! Line him up! Engaging!
Sergeant Campbell, said rep. Sir, we are not equipped to take on a Russian brigade. Maybe we ought to rethink this. This is maneuver warfare, Sergeant. If you don't like it, you can go join the fucking Air Force. General, you have never let me down before. Now I fully expect you to accomplish this task. Absolutely, sir. No, Steve, look, I'm sorry, but that is completely unreasonable. I have serious reservations about this. Sergeant Campbell, Blackburn, push on, as required. That's fast air! Is it? Shit! Did he see us? Did he see us? Oh, he's doubling back. Holy fucking shit! Let's go! Dick, Steve. <laughs> All right. I know what you think. Maybe if I'd have done something different, they'd both still be here. This is a war. And things happen in a war. Now, we still have a job to do. We have to get to Kafra and we have to get to him first, whether the loops are there or not. There's no way. There's just us. They 
towards you. It's on you, Marines. Are you coming with me? So you lost most of your unit in the valley against the Russians. Who survived? Montez and myself, Cole, some others. Did Captain Cole get your guys killed? What? No. Isn't that how you felt about it? Deep down? You know, in Bosnia, I lost four of my closest friends. Rocket attack. The guy that was on OP was sleeping. I was fucked up for six months. Thought about killing him. We all talked about it. I still think about how he failed us. I'd feel sorry for you, but I feel more sorry for your buddies. Because they never knew who you really were. They would have understood. Would you? Would you understand turning on your buddy? For the enemy? The Russians weren't our enemy. They killed your fucking friends! Hold on, hold on. Now, at the same time you were in the field in Iran, we intercepted burst transmissions between Dima and his handlers in Kiev. He was in Iran as well. Why was Dima in Iran with the Russians? Зажигание включено. Операция в действии. Да, сука. Соопределяющий сенсор высоты. Поставить на 500 метров. В зоне выброса люди спокойный. Отклонение будет минимальным. Полагаемся на сенсор высоты. Пускаемся на постоянном тоне. Установлено. Кислород включен. Красный включен! Красный включен! Красный включен! Красный включен! Дима, опусти платформу! Oh, <laughs> 
Смотри, не заперто кодом. Хорошо, мы можем их слышать. Хорошая идея насчет машины. Давай тогда быть дороги. Последние спутники его изображения показали большое оживленное сновидение. У нас всего лишь 30 минут, может даже меньше. Знаешь, а если сразу поедем на вилл? Окна затемнены. Ты не подумай, что мы патруль сразу пропустит нас через ворота. Не-не-не, не рассчитывай на это. Смотри. Смешайся с конвоем. Мы проследуем за ними вонутно. Молодец. Может быть, часть на нашей стороне. Да, этого никогда не было. The Americans are coming. They're near Gilad Valley. Get everyone back here now. We're leaving. Sir, the airspace is problematic. I'm aware of the situation. Just do what I say. Отлично. Он совершенно не догадывается, насколько мы близко. Все равно это будет впритих. А нужно быть готовым ко всему. Кирилл будет первым. Я пойду вторым. Дима, подстрахуй нас где нужно. Будь готов к изменению. Помни, гру хочет взять Кафарова живым. Но самое главное, это ядерный чемодан. Блять. Стой такой на расстоянии. Давай, будем делать это. Готовься. Ворота. Ну что ты ждешь? Что ты ждешь? Давай, 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 ну. Бля. Вон, белый гист. Дима, они нас не пропустят. Возьми, который спереди. Жди моей команды. Жди, жди, жди. Три, два, один, давай. Дверь, Дверь будет держаться какое-то время, давай. Вот там построена комната. Дима, давай туда открой ворота. Ворота, неожиданно Быстрей. сюда попал. Это все равно произошло. Давай, пошли. Сэр, Элина Форс из Конферта на Граунде. Мы не знаем.
Враг движется слева. Добраться. План показывает дорогу внизу. Дверь сзади. Дима, посмотри, можно ли их обойти.
This key goes to a safe deposit box in Geneva. Take it. Take everything in it. I, I don't have them! Do you understand? It's not me you want. It's not I! Ah, it's Solomon! Listen, I have information about Solomon. I know what he's planning. I know where the suitcases are going. Let's make a deal. My freedom for information. You let me go, I tell you everything. I tell you where Solomon is going. I know what he's doing and where... So you drive there. You and whoever's left. You, Cole Montez. Now, if I'm in your shoes, I'd be thinking about my friends. I'd be wondering what I could have done differently. I might even be wishing it had happened to me and not them. So you get to Kafarov's villa, ahead of the main forces of Russians, ahead of everybody. Not everybody. Dima was there, wasn't he? And you made a decision. You made a fucking momentous decision about your life and your allegiance, about how much you're willing to do for your country. You don't know anything about the decisions I had to make. Tell us what it was then. Convince me. We split up to search the villa. I was alone. Do not do anything stupid. This piece of shit right there stole three nuclear devices from Russia and sold it to a man called Solomon. Solomon's using the PLR. He has at least two targets, New York and Paris. He is using public transit to move the weapons. He's going to detonate the New York device at Times Square very soon. This cannot happen. We can avert war between our nations. Just two of us. No politicians. No money changing hands. Just two soldiers speaking the truth. Help me. Help me to do this. That's it. I have to leave now. You don't shoot him. Millions will die. Get down on the ground! I said get down on the ground! Remember, do whatever you have to do to stop Solomon's plan. So you admit to shooting your commanding officer under the direction of a Russian agent, is that correct? So unless you have something else significant to share with us, Sergeant, this investigation is over. You have been played. It's the Russians. No, it's Solomon. Haven't you listened to anything I've been saying? You want us to believe that there's a PLR threat and Solomon's at the head? Yes. To believe that you acted in the best interests of our nation when you let a Russian agent go and shot your own man. But we can't. Nothing can be corroborated. This is insane. No one can verify the third nuke even exists. The bank collapsed. Al Bashir is dead. Your unit is dead. Dima is presumed dead. Kafrov's dead. 80,000 French people are actually dead. Those are all your witnesses, Sergeant. The only thing we can say happened for sure is you fragged your CO. Bring him in. You saw this man shoot his commanding officer, right? Just knock off the bullshit, Sergeant. Didn't Dima set you up? Didn't he talk you into shooting Cole and then escape to Paris where he triggered the nuke? Wasn't that Dima? Solomon has the nuke. Solomon is one of ours. He is an overseas asset, and he has been for years. We put him next to Al-Bashir for information. You are shitting me. He's a murderer. You saw the video. Well, you get the good with the bad when it comes to assets, and sometimes sacrifices must be made for the greater good. Isn't that your angle? Jesus Christ. The nuke is still out there. Solomon's still out there. 
You can't just walk away from the threat. You might be right, Sergeant. Maybe Solomon was too close to the fire, but I assure you we are on top of this situation. The Russians are a clear and present threat. Yes. What do you mean you lost a train? Solomon's using the PLR. He is an overseas asset, and he has been for years. He uses me, and he uses everyone. He said, get the bombs. 80,000 dead. We can avert war between our nations. Well, the blast yield matches Russian suitcase nuke specs. We've secured what appears to be a WMD. Wait, there's room for two more. How many portable nuclear devices did you see in the bank vault? Where the hell are the other two? The 14 of this month. We got maps of Paris. He's using public transit to move the weapons. Suleiman will strike! The train map inside the bank vault. Uh -huh. What was the time written on it? Um, 6.02. Why? Dave, you trust me? Oh, yeah. All right. Follow my lead.
are you alone? Huh? Who are you with? Huh? Are you alone? Huh? Who are you with? Huh? Girl! Who? Ah! 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 You're good, soldier. You are good. What's next? Uh, I'm not afraid to die. How about you? Uh, help! Ah! Radiation is like life. 
a uniquely damaging event. Perhaps I will live another 30 years. Perhaps I will die tomorrow. I am telling my story here. The story of how Solomon used power-hungry men like Al-Bashir and Kafarov to set fire to the world. And the American Marine, who, like me, chose the hardest path of all. But I have no regrets. I have always served Russia trying to make a difference. Sometimes I was forced to make difficult choices. Many lives have been saved. Many have been lost. I am certain Moscow does not view it in the same light as I do. But enough is enough. As Vladimir would say, you can only die once. Make sure it is worth it.